we are beginning with the very first topic the very first chapter and that is called as business process management and information technology now before i start with this particular topic i want to tell you something when i start teaching i want all the books closed don't write anything say i'll be writing over only points over here i'll give you time to write what you will be writing is my notes see this particular syllabus is new and because it is information technology it is also new for me because what i learned in my uh, college days when i was doing mca that is outdated now the new technologies are always coming in it's not like accounts see your accounts teacher so any lecturer who is teaching you accounts what they learned they are teaching you and accounts concepts will never change it remains the same but that is not the case with information technology a information technology teacher has to always upgrade himself always upgrade himself see changes will be just made in the amendments or amendments are just changes basic things remains the same but that is not the case with information technology now in 1990s there was nothing called as business process management are because everything was done manually and this business process management is here now to stay not for more than 5 to 7 years after 5 7 years some new technology will be coming that means as you are preparing for your exams <coughs> in the same way i need to prepare for the new technology see reading once using it once i can understand it because my base is of information technology but how exactly to teach you through what process or what examples or what i should uh, what base i should take for that i have to do research which i have done that's my homework so i'll be explaining you things but don't keep on writing everything and please don't write what i'm writing over here if you want if you want i'll give you my handwritten notes it is not notes it is just how you will remember the things i'll show you what this is my homework what i am supposed to teach question number 1 explain the term business process management it has got three part what is process what is objective what is the influence of people and ultimately saransh i mean to say the summary of bpm right i'll be explaining all these things see i won't write all these things in in this uh, class visuals i won't write it i'll just say bpm and the head points and what you'll do you'll write only that if you feel it is fine you can do it but i feel if you take down this points if you can elaborate this into three lines that will make up with your answer take time let me finish off with the first answer then tell me whether you want this or not i won't give this in your notes you will be having a separate notes a draft copy of separate notes is ready but because this is a new syllabus still it is in the process of proof checking this is what i have been doing for last two months i have prepared the notes i took the help of the module obviously that is the base no book is available in the market so the person to help me was reference books and obviously internet so i have taken efforts for last two months to prepare these notes still still it is in the process uh, sorry still it is in the process of finalization and now i am going through it any changes are required to be made some errors are made by the typist so that is still going on it is not yet final once i reach mumbai i'll take another 7 days to finalize this another 7 days for printing it so in mumbai this notes will be available immediately 15 days that is around 15th of april and next 3 4 days it will take to reach these books in chennai and your exam is in november we are just talking of april now okay so you will be having this everything is ready it is finalized now for explaining all these things 
I have prepared notes for myself what I'll be talking to the students and if this you can elaborate this is the elaborated form this is the elaborated form now I know that if you start reading this it is a bit difficult so the summary of all these things in point format it is over here so if you need this if you need this I'll give it to you not in the form of notes no Xerox you are supposed to write it maybe after after I finish three questions, after I finish four questions, I'll give you time to write. And writing always helps. I know that this today is the world of technology, but learning with writing always helps. It says ek nikha sau baka means one time writing is equivalent to hundred times reading. If you read this hundred times, it is fine. It will help. But once you write all these things is very helpful and writing this will register it while writing this you can just link what I said with what you are writing if you are able to link that means you have understood this topic and a topic which is understood you need not by heart it if you are not able to link that means there is a gap then you can ask me doubts if I just give this in blank in notes format no one will care to read if you read also that won't register in your mind okay it is always said that there is no substitute for hard work and there is no shortcut to success okay still I don't want you to trust me I don't want you to believe me whatever I am saying you think on your own if it is helpful for you then only you write otherwise we won't waste time in writing okay so we are beginning with the very first chapter that is called as business process management and information technology shall we start Okay, we are on question number one. Now, entire syllabus is divided in the form of question and answers. First chapter having around 20 questions. You can say on an average we are having 20 questions in each chapter. So, for your exams, you are supposed to learn only 100 questions. <coughs> okay, we are starting off with the very first one. What is business process management? Before we start with business process management, what is business? Any activity, any activity which is done with an intention of making profit is called as business. Now this you have learned in 11, 10, 12 standard. But there is something more to be learned in it. Business is a human activity. Am I right? Do you see animals doing business? A dog is selling something. Okay. An elephant is giving some service. Do you see all such things? No. It's a human activity directed towards the satisfaction of human wants it's a human want that you are in this classroom you want to grow you want knowledge and why you want knowledge so that you can serve someone and earn money from it that is satisfaction of human want so this particular business activity is being undertaken by a human being for satisfaction of some human want and it is done with the help of an exchange process here there has to be an exchange process I am giving you knowledge obviously it is intangible I understand but there is an exchange process no one who has not paid their fees is allowed in this classroom right so it is an exchange process and this particular activity has been undertaken with an intention of making profits Okay, you start any business activity, you do some business, you start a shop, you render some service, it is been done for making money. Na? Your parents must be working, they must be having some business. Dan dharam karne ke liye business chalu ke hai. For charity, I have ample money, I want to serve humanity. So I am doing business, so I am serving you. Is it so? Your parents are working so that they can satisfy your wants. Huh? You need fashionable clothes, you need bikes, cars, you need smartphones. Normal cell phone nahi chalta hai. <laughs> smartphones you need, etc. You need books, calculators, watches, etc. 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 All these are human wants and they are required to be satisfied so they also want profit so business is a human activity directed towards satisfaction of human wants through an exchange process with an intention of making profits that's business 
Now talking about process. What is a process? Any ongoing activity can be called as a process. You are as a student are in the process of learning. This lecture is going on. What is happening in this lecture? You are in the process of learning a boring subject called as information technology. It's the process of learning. In this particular classroom, I am also in a process. In a process of giving, imparting knowledge so that you can use the same knowledge, write something in exam and pass your exams. Am I right or wrong? It is nothing but a process. A process is called as a sequence of events. Your daily timetable. Hindi it is called as Dinacharya. It is also a collection of a sequence of events. You get up in the morning early or late that is a different story. Whatever. Then there are some preliminary things which are required to be completed. <laughs> then you start with breakfast. Okay. After breakfast then maybe you are if you might be going in some college or normally people go in college. Degree college means morning college. And after they finish off with their college, then gym khana activities, some extracurricular activities. <laughs> Afternoon, they come back home. Okay. And then they have lunch. Lunch is supposed to be heavier. Then, as a normal person, they take a small chota chinna nap for digestion. Okay, and then they start with their studies or maybe their classes or maybe their sports activity. Evening, snacks time, a cup of coffee, some biscuits, maybe some sandwich, some mixture, something like that. Okay, then, then that evening time is purely for extracurricular activities, purely. I believe it has, it has to be done in the same way. Okay, roaming around, watching movie, hanging out with friends. Okay, in short freaking out, come back on time and in a right frame of everything. Have your dinner, study, watch TV, interact with your family and sleep. What exactly is this? Can I call this as a process? It's a daily process. It is a daily process and it is nothing but a sequence of events. <coughs> A process always requires input and output. A process always requires input and output. The process of learning, input, lecture, output, exam. Input, lecture, output, exam. Am I right or wrong? Everyone in this classroom, whether you are vegetarian, non-vegetarian, you might be consuming tomato sauce. The input is a tomato. Mixed with vinegar and salt and n number of spices, n number of processes are being undertaken on that. And the outcome is tomato sauce, samosa, sandwich, cutlet, this, that. And then you consume it. It's a sequence of input and output. Am I right or wrong? Yes, a digestion system is also a sequence. Input processing. <laughs> <laughs> input and output these two things are inseparable from a process I could add one more thing to it and that is called a storage input input you are listening to the lecture you are solving problems that is input that input is going inside your head okay process starts you are understanding how it was done how a trial balance will be converted into final accounts is a process. It's an intellectual process. It has to be stored. It has to be stored till the exam time. Huh. If, if you are doing accounts, it will be lifetime. But if you are taking a subject called as information technology, it has to be stored at least till the exam gets over. Okay. And then the final presentation. The output could be in the form of writing paper. 
or for a CA, for you as future CAs, the output could be in the form of rendering service to someone, like filing their tax returns. Okay, so it is always many ingredients inside these events. It is input, it is processing, many times storage, and the final thing is called as output. <coughs> This particular process you will see in each and every field. It could be seen in personal life, in social life and also in professional life. Personal life I need not discuss because it is personal. <laughs> social life I can discuss. Okay, we meet people, we interact with them, we try to analyze that person. Okay, he is having a very good heart. And that boy is a critic. I won't uh, like to have any friendly relationship with him. Okay, very bad person. <laughs> that process is going on. And the output is obviously, birds of a feather flock together. Like-minded people always comes together. Okay, that's nothing but input and output. Let's talk in terms of technical terms. I am talking about a computing system, a file is been created. Suppose you are typing something text on maybe a notepad, maybe word, then you save it. Okay, so that input is nothing but your typing process. A file is given inside the system. Now the system has to decide what is to be done. Obviously the system decide as per the instructions of the person or of the programmer. You want to save the file as it is, it will go in storage. Whether you want to process it first and then store it. Processing means either you will compress that file and save. Either you will encrypt that file and save. Either you will sort that file and save. Okay. Either you will defrag it and then save. Anything could be done. That is called as the process part. Storage part. Output part. So process is seen in IT field. You go to shopping. You enter into Big Bazaar or Star Bazaar or this departmental store. That is also a process. How? You ask for goods. Customer order I can say. Okay. Then goods are uh, displayed before you. Then the selection starts. If there are boys, selection will be quick and fast. <laughs> if girls are shopping, it will take time. Because input is more. Na. See boys what they do? They go alone or they go along with one friend. But girls don't do in this way. They hunt in groups. <laughs> <coughs> Janani will ask uh, Varsha, Varsha what are you doing today? Nothing. Come now we'll go shopping. Varsha also, okay, calm down, go shopping. She'll ask her neighbor, what you're doing? I'm studying. Studying? Evening? Come now we'll go shopping. Shopping? Book band. Shopping. <laughs> And they'll consume so much time. And if they're buying a sari, oh God. <laughs> boys, boys is like five minutes for trouser selection. And three to four minutes for selection of a shirt or a t-shirt. Ha! Huh. More time is consumed for checking size. Trying it out. That's it. But selection is quick and fast. Quick and fast. <laughs> And uh, girls won't disagree. You know it, na? And I can say from my personal experience. <laughs> when my mom used to go for shopping, I had an option. Mom, I want to play. I want to go out. I want to go for a movie. I have always had an option. I never went out. But now I don't have any option. <laughs> See, when you see bad times, then only you realize the goodness of good times. <laughs> so I go through that patch, okay, of selection, then selection, second round of selection, third round of selection. <laughs> okay, you can have here only. Again, that is nothing but the process of selection. Okay, then the payment and then the delivery of goods. Again, this is nothing but a process. So the moral of the story is process, process, process and process. You will see everywhere. 
but I am interested in the process of business or I would say the way around the various processes which are involved in business both are one and the same now <clears throat> every person does this process in a different way for example how you study people take a book and, uh, uh, and then study in this way some people they just relax they lay on their couch uh, they will be listening to music or a TV will be on and then they are reading is fine okay some people can study in this way okay some people can study in any circumstances any circumstances there is a loud TV there is a loud radio going on four people are fighting over there dogs are barking over there but they can concentrate on studies <laughs> this is their way of studying hey, this is fine for a individual life or personal life but if my every employee starts doing the things in the way he like it will be a big mess for me so the most important thing is standardizing when I talk about process I see to it as a businessman that I standardize the things this particular process has to be done in this particular way only and that is how I can minimize the time that is how I can bring down my cost today making profit is difficult so people have found out various ways of increasing the profit either you increase your sales or you increase your cost the result is the same that's profit so <coughs> standardization of process standardization of process means whatever are the activities you have to standardize their flow you won't do the things the way you like but you will do the things in the way it has been decided by some policy by some procedure so I can say now process is a standardized flow of activities activities have to be planned activities are to be trained and the same activities have to be done in the same way as they are being taught to you that is called as standardization or flow of activities <coughs> in this particular thing people and or machine play an important role people cannot be ignored okay we are not in that phase where there is hundred percent computerization no and I think that is impossible nothing is impossible but I think with this particular technology that we are having it is impossible so people are inseparable part today nothing is done only with the help of people you have the support of machines railway reservation Huh? bus reservation there is a system to check whether the seats are available or not there is a system to finalize the amount there is a system to give or print a ticket but there has to be a person to take your request now there has to be a person to take cash there has to be a person to swipe the card and there has to be a person who will take that print out of ticket and give you <coughs> so people and person I'm sorry people and machines both are an inseparable part of a process so process management or business process also has an aim of what exactly will be the role of people and what exactly will be the role of a machine when machine and people both if they can interact with each other properly then only you will be getting a optimum result then only you'll be getting a right result so business process management is all about managing the business process so that the objectives of the organization the business objectives of an organization can be fulfilled and what is the business objectives simple profit or minimization of cost bringing down your cost or bringing down the time that is been consumed or bringing down the people that are required in your organization it is a very dangerous thing but from businessman point of view it is fine instead of employing 100 people if I can bring in if you can bring it down to 50 or I am saving 50% salary 50% salary is saved 
right? Other resources which are required by them, that is saved. That is the business objective. And the most important objective, profit is secondary. <coughs> Cost cutting, people cutting, people cutting means reducing the number of uh, labor. That is all secondary. My prime aim is value creation. And now value creation is a technical term. I understand people are saying uh, value creation means what? Are you satisfying my customer? At the first go, I won't see to profit. I won't demand profit, but I would always require a satisfied customer. A satisfied customer. A satisfied customer returns. And he returns with four more customers. That's a human tendency. You give good service. Okay, people will come back to you and they will bring four more customers. You give them bad service. You give them bad service. They won't come back. Plus, they will shout and they will stop 40 more people from coming to you. Am I right or wrong? If you say a hotel, you say two people. If you say a hotel, you say a hotel. You say a hotel, you say a hotel. You say a hotel, you say a hotel. Sambar ka wat lag gaya hai. Dosa matlab pura ek dam paapad ho gaya hai uska. That's human tendency. If you like the lecture, or hey, lecture was good ha. If you don't like, you will call, don't go for IT lecture ha. Am I right or wrong? That is, that is nothing but business objective. Satisfaction of the customer. Value creation. Achha, listen. Value creation. Value creation can be done for two different types of people. For two different types of customer. Internal and external. But I won't talk all these things in the very first question. As that point will come, I'll discuss. So now are you understanding what is business process management? Yes, management of business process. I explained to you what is business. Yes, I explained to you what is the process. I also explained to you what is a business process. So business process management is managing of the business process for achieving certain goals, for achieving certain or, or organizational objectives. Get it? Okay. <coughs> Whenever, now I'm throwing some more light on objectives. Objectives is all about the effectiveness and efficiency of an organization. What is efficiency? It is the relationship between the input and output. I'll explain. It's a relationship between input and output. <coughs> this boy, Satya, he is studying for 10 hours a day. Example. <laughs> and he scores, and he scores, 84% in exams. Whatever exam is appearing. Okay. Then there is one Mr. Pinky. I said Mr. Pinky. Uh, Ram Prakash. Ram Prakash is studying only for two hours a week. His appa is shouting after him. Are beta, kabhi padai karega. Mamme, are Ramo, study, study, study. Ramu is wandering everywhere. <laughs> he studies for two hours per week. He also appears for exam. I said no inputs. <coughs> Result is out. He gets 84% and he gets 78%. Obviously it is less. Now you tell me, would you like to study like Satya and get 84% or you would like to study like Ramu and get 78%? The normal answer is, I mean if you are normal, I would follow him. I cannot study for 10 hours. Achha, now, the moral of the story is, he is more efficient. Output fine, he is having better output and he is having a lower output. But if you see the input, his input is lowest and he is having a, a good amount of input. So if you check the relationship, input divided by output, you would see the efficiency quotient 
of Ram Prakash would be more as compared to Satya. We want to achieve the same thing in business. Are giving everything and achieving output is worse than giving something and getting acceptable output. That is the idea of objective. Whatever objectives we want to achieve, we will achieve it in this particular way. <coughs> we will achieve it in this particular way. And effectiveness. The output has to be effective. Please. The output has to be effective. How many in this classroom don't have non-vegetarian food? They are pure vegetarians, pure. They don't even touch, they don't even see, they don't even... <laughs> Hands down. Shh. You are wasting your time. Personally speaking, I'm a Maharashtrian, a Maratha by caste. Non-vegetarian food is a part of our life. And uh, I am pure non-vegetarian. <laughs> I'm also interested in cooking. I can't cook, that is a different story. <laughs> but I'm interested in cooking. So I give the best output. Aisa, Aisa chicken pahadi kebab banayega na. अरे सुनना यार पहले the more I stay quiet the more you are losing because I have only limited number of hours to teach you get maximum from me let me speak maximum Huh? So I was talking about this very exotic dish, okay? And I present this or I give this dish to Varsha. Varsha will run away. Is that output effective? So what is the output? That is not important. What is the quality of output? That is also not effective. Uh, that is also not important. What is more important is its effectiveness. I prepare a so-so dish, but it is pure veg. Varsha will have that food. It is more effective. Are you understanding what I am saying? So the business objectives, the output has to be effective and it has to be achieved in an efficient manner. That's the most important thing. Okay. <clears throat> and I said that uh, it also involves reducing the cost. I have to reduce the cost by hook or by crook. Reduce cost, reduce cost. Because today competition is so high that you cannot achieve a stipulated sales. Your sales are sealed. Your inputs, your revenue is sealed. Now what to do to increase profit? Decrease your expenses. And that increased gap is nothing but your profit. Okay, so I have to achieve this, I have to achieve profit in this way. And I told you, profit is secondary. First thing is value creation. I have to create a value for my customers. <coughs> that is about the objectives. And for this, you have to do an effective management of business policies. Now, what is this effective management of business policies? <coughs> Before I speak uh, management, 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 I would like to make you understand what is management. Everyone knows the definition. Management is an art of getting the things done through other people. But what is so difficult in management? You're not able to hear? You're not able to hear? Can we increase the volume of this? Acha, <coughs> listen. Hello, hello, hello. Just 
reduce the treble and increase bass hello hello is this fine yes sir okay thank you ha huh. i was talking about management now what what people understand about management is i have some work i cannot do it so i am giving it to some other person i am paying for it that is management no that is just the m of management but what exactly is management i'll i'll explain what exactly is this i've got many examples of explaining all these things whenever the term organization come into existence management follows it what is organization group of people coming together is management is organization here are around 400 students they are coming together can i call this as an organization why not sorry i can call this as an <coughs> i can call this as an organization because they have a common objective and the objective is passing ipcc november 14 only in november 14 that is your objective yes, sir. everyone has this common objective yes, sir. i am inside this particular organization yes, sir. i also have the same objective yes, sir. i don't want to pass in november 14 but i am helping you to pass in november 14 am i right or wrong yes, so this is called as an organization and how effect <coughs> how effectively you can handle this organization now what is difficult in handling organization i'll tell you what is difficult in handling organization uh one friend of mine took uh, 50000 rupees from me he said he'll return it in 10 uh, days in 10 days he'll return i said fine i gave him 50000 rupees 5 days 10 days 15 days 20 days one month passed away but still he has not written me 50000 rupees i am in tension 50000 rupees is very big amount for me okay what will i eat what my children will eat okay how we will survive i am very poor man i am worried about 50000 rupees and i am sitting with my head down scratching my head <coughs> baskar baskar comes and says uh, sir what's the problem then i tell him ki uh, i have uh, one i have given uh, 50000 rupees to my friend and he has not returned it back so he says sir no problem i'll talk with him i say you will talk yes sir i'll talk give me his uh, name phone number address <laughs> so i i give him his number his name address he goes to his residence ting tong he opens the door yes uh, i am mr baskar i am uh, amol sir's student and uh, you must have taken 50000 rupees from amol sir and then he talks he talks he motivates him are us insaan ka paisa tu agar khayega to bhagwan tere ko chhod bhagwan ka vasta deta hai ऐसा इमोशनल बात करता है ना दैट माय फ्रेंड आई डन अ बिग क्राइम आई एम सॉरी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज टेक इट प्लीज गिव इट टू योर सर सी देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम आई हैड दैट प्रॉब्लम एंड मिस्टर भास्कर सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम राइट यू विल से वेरी गुड सर वेरी गुड नो द सेम स्टोरी विथ अ डिफरेंट एंगल फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव <coughs> same same story i am sitting i am in tension okay my beard has grown my hair has grown and i am scratching my head okay and there is one mr that boy yes just stand what's your name gopi gopi comes to me hello gopi comes to me and he says sir any problem yes i tell him the problem He says, "Sir, no problem. I'll solve the problem. Give me his name, number, and uh, address. So I give him. He also goes in the same way. Ting tong. He opens the door. As soon as he opens the door, he doesn't say anything. One kick, <laughs> one punch. He beats him black and blue, and he says only one thing. 
50,000. <laughs> he doesn't care to ask what 50,000. 50,000? He comes to me, sir, you are 50,000. Now you'll be very happy. Sir, your problem solved. <coughs> Method is different. But the problem is solved. Again, I would like to tell you the same story with the third perspective. Same scene. Now there one Mr. Pal. Manipal. Mayapal. What is it? Manipal. Manipal comes. Manipal comes. Sir, any... He comes and says the same thing. Sir, any problem? Yes, same problem. And he goes there. Now he sees the address. My friend resides on the third floor. My friend resides on the third floor. He is not going on the third floor. He stands on the ground floor. He looks up and then he stands. Hey, Terry! Teet, 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 full beeps. Entire society shatters. There is an earthquake in the society. Parents close ears of their kids. You don't listen to this. <coughs> and that person comes down. It's my mistake. Take this money. And such people, they, they cannot keep their mouth shut. You have got money, na? you should keep your mouth shut and no. Then they will continue. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> problem solved in three different ways. Hey, problem solved in three different ways. You will be very happy. Are, but I am the person who is most worried now. Why? I will tell you. If I have employees of three different types, there are many more types. I cannot tell everything. It will be very difficult for me to manage. If there is a problem in the organization, and if I start talking, he will understand. He won't understand. Because he doesn't understand this language. In Hindi it is said, Lato ke bhut bato se nahi mante. He won't understand. And, and he cannot listen to others. <laughs> so I am in a problem. <coughs> if I if I explain in his style, he will understand, but he will feel bad. And he will start with double power. <laughs> so how will I explain him? I have to say those things which he have also not heard. <laughs> then he will be shocked. Huh? This is something new. <laughs> but he'll feel bad. And he'll be very angry. Of course, he cannot hit me. But he'll be very angry. So there are people, there are people who has got different ways of acting, different ways of reacting. They are of different nature. They are of different belief. They are of, they, they have different style. So I have to see to it that I convince each and every one and that is nothing but the power of management. And it is not just managing people. I have to manage machines. I have to manage machine or not. If Suppose if I want to buy a machinery, what should I do? Should I import it? Should I uh, get it from the domestic vendor? If I buy an imported one, it will work for 10 years without fail. But if I buy an Indian machinery, it will work for six months. Then again, some uh, maintenance is required to be done. It will work in patches. I have to take this decision. That is management. Management is also about money. How will you bring money? Will you go for owned capital or will you go for borrowed capital? If you say borrowed capital, it is wrong. And if you say owned capital, still it is wrong. Why, why not old capital? Owned capital means I'll be bringing out shares. Suppose if I earn huge profit, huge profit, what will happen with that profit? I have to distribute it. I cannot have anything. Ah, suppose I go for borrowed capital and there is loss. Then what? I have to still give them fixed rate of interest. 
fixed returns I have to give. Are I don't have profit, and how how can I give them? I am again in a loss. Earn profit problem, earn loss problem. You should have the right blend, and that is management. Having the right structure of your capital is management. I have to manage market. <coughs> I have to manage markets. Managing market means what? What exactly is managing this market? I have to understand who is the potential customer. I have to understand who is a potential customer. A person standing in the park who is a balloon seller. He also knows who is the potential customer. According to economics, a potential customer has three things. He should have the ability to buy. He should be having willingness to buy and desire okay capacity willingness and desire okay a mother along with a small kid is walking in that park and that person selling balloons okay he will be wagging that balloon in front of that kid the kid is having a desire yes but is he having the capacity no then what is the use who is having the capacity mother who is having the willingness mother who is having the desire mother to wag it in front of his mother na <laughs> he'll slap you <laughs> so if a layman eh hey, if a layman can understand who is the potential customer are you will be all chartered accountants you will be handling big corporate offices so don't you think you need to understand who is your customer rather who is your potential customer and that is nothing but again something called as management management of the customer management is all about understanding your product and knowing where exactly i should be selling this product where i should be selling this product now products markets can be say divided on the basis of males and females i can do that suppose i am selling shaving cream so it is quite obvious na ki i should advertise on those channels which is normally seen by men sports channel news channel wrestling wrestling wwf 10 sports am i right or wrong okay if i make the ad of shaving cream between some sas bahu cereal <laughs> it's a waste of time na they don't use all these things ha <laughs> ah, suppose i am selling cosmetics so it should be between sas bahu cereals between family type of uh, movies songs soft channels they watch okay a lipstick ad between a wrestling match <laughs> no one uses this na pinky lipstick <laughs> you can have you can have bifurcation a you can have bifurcation on the basis of age factor on the basis of age factor i am coming up with a new wild flavored chewing gum so who eats chewing gum people like you teenagers so i should be distributing free free uh, i would say free samples in front of schools in front of colleges uh, in front of maybe uh, uh, parks and something like that okay i cannot go to a old man and say na grandpa try this new chewing gum or <laughs> grandpa will say i don't have my own teeth <laughs> what's the use no use okay then there are some ayurvedic churnas for digestion are we don't have any problem you eat anything everything will be digested so if i do add over here no one will buy ha huh. in front of nana nani park i can sell this product 
I need to analyze this. Markets can be also divided on the basis of financial capacity. Financial capacity. I go in uh, say slum area and I say we are ready to give you a uh, loan. We are ready to give you loan of 50 lakh rupees. You can buy Mercedes. <laughs> and that person desires to have a small home, his own home. I can do that, na? And if I go in some poise garden, somewhere in some posh area, and then I then I say that our company is providing you 50 lakhs home loan. That person will say, "Hey, idiot, come inside. Interior itself is of 50 lakhs." <laughs> So don't you think the market should be properly segregated? <coughs> understanding the market position, understanding the person, managing the machines, managing the people working in the organization, managing the money is nothing but management. Are you understanding? <coughs> this was the latter part of business process management. Whenever we talk about business process, it's important that management should play an important role. You should recognize ki what processes are important. See, there are some unwanted process. Unwanted processor processes are existing in our life. Like for example, for example, um, there is fried food, fried. Okay, we sit in front of TV and we eat fried food. That is totally unwanted. Na? Ha, watching movie is fine. Watching movie is fine. But why you need to keep on eating something? This all, it, fried food is very dangerous. Okay? That is unwanted process. In the same way, organizations may have some unwanted process. So that it is the work of the management to remove or at least reduce this unwanted process. After removing these unwanted processes, you should segregate which are the processes, which is the most important, which is important, which is less important, which is not important. And then you have to put your focus depending upon their importance. That is the involvement of management as regards the process. So the top management, middle management, lower management, all should be involved in this process management, in this business processes. <coughs> okay. Now, moving to the next part. I want to put some light on importance or a role of people inside an organization. I would say one of the big organizations in India is Reliance Group. Am I right? I said one of the, I never said biggest, one of the, Asha. And uh, this particular organization, one part of Reliance, is owned by Mukesh Ambani. Am I right? Yes, sir. What do you think? Only Mukesh Ambani does everything. He comes, he opens the gate. He starts the machines, he gives the input, he takes the output, he does accounting, he does selling, he does buying. Are one day some disaster might happen. But it is not so. What Mukesh Ambani has done, he has appointed people. So whenever we are talking about a process, a process cannot be separated from people. You have come to attend the lecture, but there is no lecturer over here. Can that process take place? No. I'm not saying that lecturers are important. I come for the lecture, but there are no students. Will the lecture take place? No. I'll teach the benches. <clears throat> okay, so don't you think process is made important because of the people who are working with the process? Am I right? So if at all you want to improve the process, if at all you want to change the process, if you want to bring computerization in process, if you want to bring technology in process, people working with the process should be made part of that solution. Understanding? Okay. Suppose I want to, inc I want to make effective teaching process. Okay. I should give training. Or suppose, now there is no senior to me in my subject. 
the top management should give some training to me you teach in this way you teach in that way this that obviously they cannot give me the subject knowledge but there are some senior teachers to me they can give me some teaching tips so this can be done people cannot be ignored and people should be a part of the solution people are very very important in this process of enhancing the business process <coughs> Now we need to have certain system, we need to have certain methods, okay, so that we can make continuous improvement. We need to make continuous improvement. Now what exactly we understand by this continuous improvement? Again, what exactly is this continuous improvement? See there is always a scope for improvement, do you accept this fact? You feel this is the best thing that I have done. When you feel you are best, your progress stops. When you think you are the best, your progress stops. You should think in this way. I think there is a scope for improvement. And try to enhance it. Okay, same is done with process management. Never believe this is the best process. Always believe that there is some scope of improvement and believe me, believe me, you will find something which is better than the existing one and that's how you continuously go on improving yourself. Are the development of computers would stop after Windows 98. The, computers, the development of computers would have stopped after Windows 98 because Windows 98 was a full-fledged operating system everything was present no requirement of drivers plug-and-play technology was started what more you want what more you want nothing but people did not keep quiet they came up with Windows 2000 operating system for networking they came up with Windows 2003 2007 2008 Okay, they brought animation into operating system. They made it easy and today we are having operating system which takes touch as input. It was eight <coughs> and still it is improving. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. yes or no? So this business process is required to be improved continuously. There has to be a <coughs> continuous improvement. Okay, and for that you have to make the right combination of the tools that you are having, of the system that you are having and also of the methods that you are using. Method is nothing but the way of performing a thing. Tools means the input that you are having. Okay, and system means a standardized method which you are following. There is scope of improvement in all these three. And if you can do that, <coughs> then only it is called as the development of the business process. And it is a continuous improvement. It never stops. It never stops. It continuously goes on. There are some techniques. There are some techniques for such type of business process development. It is called as Six Sigma and TQM, that is Total Quality Management. Six Sigma and total quality management. Six Sigma is all about those factors which are responsible for analyzing a manufacturing process. Manufacturing could be of anything. Converting cotton into a t-shirt is manufacturing. Converting a piece of leather into shoes is manufacturing. Converting a tomato into tomato sauce is manufacturing. Converting a mango into a mango jam is manufacturing everything is manufacturing <coughs> and this manufacturing process could have certain defects the six sigma technology will help to analyze a manufacturing process to locate any defects if there are any defects it will be located it will be removed and if there are no defects we will try to enhance our manufacturing process how can we do the same process with less labor? Yes, sir. Can we do the same process with less machinery? 
can we do the same process with lesser consumption of electricity always there is a scope for improvement always there is a scope for improvement and that has been done by six sigma <coughs> and tqm that is total quality management is a japanese concept it can never come in india i mean it could not have been originated in india what japanese say is now this particular concept came from deming fleming his name was deming fleming he says there is always a scope for improvement okay we listen to these words very carefully yeah? they are a bit difficult we will try to achieve perfection believing that perfection can never be achieved understanding what i am saying we are trying to achieve perfection believing that it can never be achieved means what continuously improvements will be done i want to achieve perfection but i am falling short next time i'll try harder next time i try hard i give better quality but i still think that this is not perfect next time i'll try better i try better next time next time there is always a scope for improvement this is called as t QM and TQM can never ever be executed with one person's determination. Determination is required from each and every employee, from each and every management level, from each and every department. Everyone should come together, then only TQM can be executed. It's a very simple concept. <coughs> Everyone should do their work properly. You are working in your organization. Okay, you are committed to your work. Okay, you start your day by having a idli, but starting from canteen. Idli is not good. What a canteen person can have an impact on company's productivity? Nothing. As per traditional management, canteen is just a subsidiary, just for filling stomachs. But if you go for TQM, if you understand the importance of canteen from the eyes of TQM, if the idli is not good, you will not be satisfied. That anger will be in your mind or you will be hungry. And if with that uh, empty stomach, if you work, can you give your best? No. no. With that angry mind, will you work? If you work, will you give you the best? No. Mistakes will happen. And that is dangerous. So, from TQM point of view, that canteen person is also very important. Take a very low profile post, sweeper. What sweeper has to do with company's uh, products and company's output? Nothing. Traditional management. But I say from TQM, sweeper is also very important. Sweeper is also very important. When I entered over this dice, this dice was clean. Everything was fine. And I could start my lecture okay in the normal way in the way i like if i enter over here there is something fallen over here my uh, seat is not clean the table is not clean there is some food particles over here okay what would be my frame of mind i'll be angry and if i have anger in my mind will i be able to teach in the same manner no i'll be angry on students late comes i won't take you till nine o'clock get out what is the effect on students <laughs> so that sweeper also plays a very very important role and that is nothing but tqm now i'll tell you what is this now i tell you what is this internal and external external customer <coughs> listen i said we are supposed to create value for internal and external customer both now the thing is who is internal customer and who is external customer external customer is very simple external customer is very simple the person who consumes the service is external customer or who consumes the product is external customer but i first need to fulfill the demands of my internal customer i should keep the internal customer happy then and then only i'll be able to achieve the benefits by satisfying external customer i'll tell you how suppose i own a restaurant i own a restaurant 
and I myself is a chef. Okay. Ram Prakash is a waiter in my organization, in my hotel. Example, don't feel bad. Okay. And <coughs> one girlfriend, boyfriend, couple, they enter in my hotel and they order for soup. <laughs> one by two, okay. They order for soup. And uh, he takes the order, he tells me what the order is. I prepare the soup. Soup is of best quality, yeah? best quality. And uh, I say to Ram Prakash, Ram Prakash, order is ready, go. Now this Mr. Ram Prakash is tensed. He has taken the tray, he is thinking about something and then he is walking. Maybe, maybe he collides with something and that entire soup, instead of serving them, is all over their body. <laughs> the soup falls. And then they too will shout at him, right? They will leave. They will go out and they will not say, waitress are useless. What they will say? The hotel is useless. My business is gone. Right? What is the problem? The problem is, my internal customer is not happy. He is my internal customer. The employees of my organization is my internal customer. He is my internal customer. Okay? I said, what is the problem? What's your problem? He says, Sir, you just uh, saw that couple? Well, yes, they are very good. <laughs> that girl, few weeks ago, was my girlfriend. <laughs> <coughs> what I can do? You tell girlfriend, why did you leave me? What do I do? I won't do that. I have to take care of my internal customer. Shh, please, please. I have to. Shh, I have to take care of my internal customer. I'll explain him. I'll explain him. Okay. I will ease him down. I'll tell him four lines. Now, these four lines can come only in Hindi. Those who don't understand Hindi, please consult your friends and get it clarified. Main, eh, main Ram Prakash ko bolega, dek Ram Prakash. Please. Jo hota hai, achche ke liye hota hai. Ram Prakash ko aise kaise sir, achche ke liye hota hai. Meri girlfriend dusre ke saath jara, abhoke achche ke liye hota hai. I, after that, after that, I say only four lines to him. I say, Hame koi thukrae, Hame matlab usko. Hame koi thukrae, Is baat ka hame gam nahi. Hame koi thukrae, Is baat ka hame gam nahi. Bad naseeb hai woh ladki, Jiske kismat mein hum nahi. After hearing this, hey. <laughs> Hello. Hey, listen. If you continue in this manner now, nah, I'll stop giving examples. Huh? Nah, keep quiet, keep, be, be calm. <laughs> Fine, you enjoyed it, I understood. Come back. After hearing to this, he'll feel better. And next customer, he can attend better. Am I right? So total quality management is all about taking care of both internal and external customer first i have to take care of my internal customer if they are happy if they are satisfied then and then only they will be motivated then and then only they will be able to give 100 percent and that's how i'll be serving my external customer 
So these are the two techniques, Six Sigma and TQM, which will help you to enhance, to better your business process. So all in all, I can say that business process is achievement of organizational objectives. We want to achieve the organizational objectives. Number one, satisfaction of customer. Number two, higher profits. Number three, creating goodwill in the market. Number four, having a big market share. And number five, maybe competition wise. Number one, that is, I'm the number one company. So these are nothing but the major organizational objectives. How that will be done? By improvement and management and control of this business process. Are you understanding? Okay, that was the first question. That what is business process management? Now, if you think, sir, if one question is taking so much time, how we will complete syllabus? See, the first question always has that entire chapter summary. So I took so long. Okay. For hearing it, it is very soothing. How will you write in exams? How will you write in exams? So I think this will help you. Hello everyone, please before you write, writing this is not compulsory, those who are interested can write and from the next question, if it is required only, then only I will give this, otherwise we will skip it. Just see to it, eh? it is not slipping because uh, it is very slippery over there. It is. What is your age? 18? 19? I'm double your age. I can read this. Should I? This is full page. That is maximum. Array, business process management, process, sequence of events, inputs and outputs, file, customer order, standardization flow of activities. Huh? I have not by heart it. Or you have four eyes, I have only two. Bad me copy kar le yaar. Mere paas abhi dusra kuch option nahi.
It should be a combination of system, methods and tools for continuous improvement. Combination. Total quality management. Business process management. Total quality management. PQM stands for Total Quality Management. You must have uh, learned this in 11th and 12th standard, no? No? Finished? We are now moving on. Next question that says, uh, what are the principles and practices of business process management? It means if we are following business process management, if we are managing the business process, what principles we should keep in mind and what practices we should undertake so that we can have a effective management of business process every person in life follows certain principles they have their own set of principles am i right yes, like if i ask you i will not ask you but if i ask you you will say sir honesty sir punctuality so discipline everyone everyone will be having their own principles i in my life has also developed certain principles but my principles are far more better defined than yours why obviously my age is more than you i have seen more life than you i believe there are three principles in my life and I follow them strictly. Jisne ki sharam uske phute karam. Jisne ki be sharmi usne khai dood malai. It means no work. It means no work is small. Small means by dignity. Okay. God has given me the responsibility of teaching and I am doing it. And I'm doing it. I like to clean or I like to give a bath to my vehicle. I do it personally. It is against some principles. Like some people will say, I am such a big, very important fellow. 
my watchman or some of the mechanic will do all these things but i like washing my car and my bike i do it personally i take a bucket nice cloth in my hand many students see me in mumbai sir so what it's my bike i love my bike so, sorry ha huh? royal enfield bullet that is the first principle aur jisme jisne ki besharmi usne khai dood malai to you do anything you should not be shy of it besharm jaise rehne ka means what i'll tell you when you go out you are in some marriage or something like that so there you should not feel shy while eating no 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 bring it here i want to eat <laughs> then only you'll be happy that's the first principle mila to apna nahi to sapna don't run after the things that you wanted you wanted you wanted time will come you will get that thing okay see when you squeeze sand okay it flows out of your hand more vigorously but if you keep your hands very light you will be able to accommodate more sand in it so you should be light in your principles <laughs> and the third thing aaye to welcome nahi to gardi kam don't wait for anyone in your life if they are coming willingly open your heart and welcome them but if they are not come <laughs> and if they are not coming are fine there is no crowd it is open gardi bole to crowd aaye to welcome nahi to gardi kam okay now these are principles of my life i follow it i feel i am happy you have to decide your own principles and follow it in the same way coming back to business process management for implementation of business process management there has to be certain principles which are required to be followed and practically speaking there are some practices which are followed so we are trying to understand what are the various principles and practices number 1 <clears throat> the first principle is all about proper maintenance of the organizational assets organizational assets are required to be properly maintained machines the data which my organization has don't you think it is an organizational asset the data of my customers the data of my vendors the data of my process okay all these things are very important or not okay so organizational processes or the organizational assets are required to be maintained properly so that we can create value for our customers both customer internal as well as external always measuring monitoring and analyzing of the business process should be done why measuring measuring means are we not undertaking more process we should check it unnecessarily if you are undertaking more process it is waste minimize it how will you come to know whether to minimize or not obviously by measuring it right okay are if you are a waste size is 36 then it is quite obvious it is to be reduced but measurement is required to be done na yes, optimum is 30 32 is fine kamar ka kamra nahi hona chahiye <laughs> am i right yes or no wait if you are a 6 foot person 80 is fine more meant more weight means you are healthy it is not so how will you come to know by measuring it so measurement of the processes monitoring the process monitoring means whatever are we doing is it right or wrong you are studying for exam and you are writing your exam studying and writing is fine but copying and writing is useless if you become a chartered accountant after copying in exams you will you will not have any clients because you don't have the knowledge getting it so monitoring and analyzing analyzing for its benefits every benefit comes with a cost you should decide can we bear that cost is the cost more than the benefits 
If it is yes, it is of no use. You are buying a Honda MAS car for 10 lakh rupees. Will you be happy that I have got a new car? You are fools. It should come at around 4 5 lakhs and you are spending 10 lakh for that. So the cost benefit analysis is going wrong. This analysis is required to be done. If you get a Mercedes Benz for 12 lakhs, 12 lakhs is more than 10 lakhs, na? but see the benefit where Honda MS and where Mercedes. This is called as cost benefit analysis. Okay, cost should be analyzed keeping into mind the benefit and benefit should be considered keeping into mind the cost. So both this go hand in hand. Okay, so whenever I say analyzing, it means analyzing the benefits of a particular process, keeping in mind the cost of that particular process. Okay, so it is called as MMA, measuring, monitoring and analyzing. Then I need not explain the next point that is called as continuous improvement. Never ever say this is best. If you say this is best, that's the end of the story you cannot develop. There has to be a continuous improvement in the process. Try to achieve the perfection, believing that you can never ever achieve perfection. And last is integrate information technology. <coughs> Human beings have got certain limitations. Human beings have certain limitations. Suppose if this classroom was a normal classroom, I would have uh, taught say 70, 80 students. If the crowd goes beyond 80, 120, 200, I won't be able to teach. No mic, nothing. Normal classroom teaching. My voice won't reach up to the last point. So don't you think that we have our own limitations? These limitations can be removed with the help of information technology. Okay, suppose I have the uh, Satya working for me. I give him data of 100 students. Okay, please find total and average. Satya is very much focused. He'll give me the output. But if I say find the total and average of 1 lakh students, clean bold. <laughs> Before starting only he'll stop. 1 lakh students is gone. Human beings has some limitations. <coughs> These limitations can be removed with the help of information technology. So use information technology, use computers wherever possible. With the help of this, we will be able to maximize the productivity of our organizations. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. That's nothing but the principles. Four principles we studied. Okay. And then what are the practices? I don't think time will permit me. <coughs> Hello. Hey, listen. Today, today, I started with some basic computer fundamentals where I covered almost uh, all hardware and software components. I have given you just the overview of it. When you will start with chapter second and third, all these things I will be teaching again but in depth now. And then I started with chapter one. Uh, what I feel is this chapter one is more about management rather than about information technology getting it okay so it might sound boring management 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 process business so today hey today i have started with chapter one and tomorrow I plan to finish off with this chapter one. Chapter one I'll be finishing off. Now listen. In chapter one, there is something called as flow charts. Okay. Shh. 
in chapter 1 there is some uh, mapping tool called as flowchart okay so uh, i'll try to finish all five chapters and after that when we get time okay that time we will be doing some problems on flowcharts because until and unless you don't draw flowchart you will never understand how that flowchart works and from your future ca point of view this flowchart will help you because i said in my starting uh, first part you are required to explain a software programmer what exactly you want and that will be done through a technique called as flowchart so i believe that flowchart should be known by each and every person so that they can explain their things okay